now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. I've often been told by people who have read my fiction that I have a strong visual style. And those who have read my fiction have said that many of my stories are like movies and that they should be movies or made into movies. And listening to those responses from people has had me wondering what it would be like if a Sean James novel were translated and adapted into a film. And one of the questions I would ask myself is, would they make a straight translation of one of my novels into film? Or would they take liberties in the adaptation of that novel when they turned it into film? Now, I would love to see some of my work turned into a film. I think it would be a great viewing experience for people. I think it would make a very good movie and a very um, thought-provoking movie. And in some ways, I think it would make a very entertaining movie for people. I think a lot of people, if they were to see one of my stories translated into film, I think they would come out of that film with a completely different view of the African-American culture, the African-American experience, and they would get a broader perspective on the African-American culture and the African-American experience because they would be seeing different pictures of African-American life. And that would be one of the reasons why I would love to see one of my novels turned into film. And I think it would be a great movie, again, that people would enjoy. Now, there are some novels that I've been told people would like to see made into a movie. And one of those novels was called The Thetas. Now, The Thetas was a sophisticated sorority story um, around, revolving around a pledge who was trying to join a secret black sorority. And people loved this book. And they, it was one of my better-selling novels in ebook format. And it was, it's, it's gotten a small following. And I think it would make for a great film. It would make for a very bright film, sort of like an ensemble cast of black women in the vein of a Steel Magnolias or one of those other, you know, female films in that type of genre. Now, there's a, some novels I would love to see turned into film. And one of the novels I would love to see turned into film would be The Temptation of John Haynes. Now, The Temptation of John Haynes was a novel where I put up together some really, really strong visuals in that novel. That was a novel where I drew from a lot of um, horror and other type genres and dark genres, and I drew visuals that were inspired by films like your Ghostbusters, the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is where I got a lot of inspiration for the dialogue, and Tim Burton films, and I would put a lot of dark visuals in that type of film. In addition, I always had a dream cast for that novel, um, where I was inspired by the actor Keith David for the voice of Lucifer and Sally Richardson Whitfield for the character of Esteem, and I always thought they would be very it would be great to see them on screen performing in that type of story because you know we don't really get to see too many African American fantasy stories, and it would be great to see two great actors you know up there with whoever I was able to get to play the role of the John Haynes. And I thought it would make a very powerful film and a very great commentary on, you know, black people, black culture. And I thought it would make a very interesting and unique film. And I thought it would be, you know, a really great story if it were translated to film. Because I think it would be one of the novels that would be easier to translate to film. Because, it ha again, even with the st because it has strong visuals and has a strong story. And a lot of people also say the same thing about the John Haynes um, sequel, The Man Who Rules the World, which pretty much is like watching b a black superhero film on screen. I mean, that's what it would be like. And, you know, when people read the novel, they tell me it has, you know, these incredibly strong visuals, and it's literally like seeing things, you know, like in a movie. And a lot of other, another novel I would like to see, you know, made into a film would be the Spinsterella no uh, novel. I think that would make for a great film. It would make for a great comedy film because if you were to see many of the um, scenes acted out um, in a story, I think you would see a lot of the nuances in the comedy. You would really, you know, laugh at the jokes. And I think it would make 
for a great film. Now, I got that strong visual style from two places. And one was my heavy interest in comic books. And comic books, everything has to be, the story has to be shown. It doesn't have to be told. You can't just tell a story. You have to show a story. And that's where I get one of the foundations for it. The other thing that I get the foundation for my story model is science fiction and fantasy. Again, with science fiction and fantasy, you have to be very visual. You have to draw pictures in people's minds. And that's how I would write, that's how I write stories. And that's why I believe, you know, people would, I think, would enjoy seeing a Sean James story adapted into film. And I think they would enjoy seeing, you know, black culture from different perspectives and different viewpoints and seeing these different types of stories because one of the things that's really stagnated the black film industry is that they tell the same stories over and over and over again. We either get, you know, the Tyler Perry type comedy, or we get the Eddie Murphy type comedy, or we get the romantic comedy, or we get the romantic thriller. And I feel that's kind of stale. And when I do stories, I want to break out of the box and do things that are different. And that's why I think people would really, when they would look at a Sean James story, if it were adapted to film, they'd be like, wow, I didn't think that there were, you know, this type of viewpoint on black life or this type of viewpoint of black culture or this type of commentary being made. And I think people would come out of it with a different experience and a different perspective on black culture. Now, people who told me about, you know, like this, this, um, my books turning into film, you know, this is not, this is not nothing new to me. I remember when I first published ISIS back in 2002, and I handed out a copy to one of my family members. She showed it to somebody else, and they said it was more like a screenplay than a novel. And then she handed me the book, Sid Field Screenplay, and I learned a bit more about screenwriting from there, and I also added to that to my approach to the novel. And that's, and when I was writing the uh, learning my new novel approach to writing novels, where I took things from sci-fi and comic books and then took screenwriting and added it to it, I was also writing the screenplay all about Marilyn. And another one that was the one that women liked a lot when I published it, and they shared it with different people. And again, that's another f novel, another screenplay I would love to see turned into film because I think it would make for a great viewing experience for the audience. I think they would really, again, enjoy seeing my type of story and my type of approach to storytelling presented on the screen. And I believe that if I were able to turn a Sean James novel or one of my books into a film, again, it would be a great and different viewing experience for the viewer. I mean, as I see it, I have a strong visual style. I've been told I have a strong visual style. I believe I tell very interesting stories. And I believe I could tell stories that could do, that could reach large audiences all across the country and maybe even across the world. I think that people would really, again, enjoy watching a Sean James story adapted from the novel to the screen, and I think they would get a film that would pretty much literally translate very well from, from words on a page to pictures on a screen. If you want to pick up one of my novels, they're available on Amazon.com in paperback and e-readers, and I believe you will enjoy watching a movie in your mind when you read one of my works.